Some very tense moments late this afternoon when tempers flared during a political protest in West Edmonton. The CBC's Matthew Cooper was in the Bellmead neighborhood as police in riot gear tried to get the situation under control. Nearly 100 protesters representing Ethiopian minority groups swarmed the Bellmead Community League this afternoon. Police surrounded the area as tensions escalated. About 30 members rushed here after a call of an officer in distress. The protesters were trying to disrupt a meeting about a dam on the Blue Nile River that they say was a front for an oppressive government. We're here today to show our grievances and anger to the Canadian people because these people who came today here are from Ethiopia and they're asking for donation that they want to use to massacre or kill our community. These protesters did have a permit. Police say there were between 40 and 60 people inside the community league building as the people outside waved flags and signs. The two-hour standoff with protesters ended when police evacuated the community league building from the back. Officers in tactical gear guarded an ETS bus as the people inside filed out to jeers from protesters. People who were in the meeting say they aren't connected to the Ethiopian government and live here in Canada. They're frustrated EPS didn't do more to control the rally. Rather than limiting the, um, uh, the uh, uh, demonstrators, aggressive demonstrators, they pushed us out of the, the hall. So uh, to say the list, it was very disappointing. Edmonton police say no one inside or outside the building was injured, and charges are pending against one protester. EPS has yet to release details about the officer in distress call. Matthew Cooper, CBC News, Edmonton.